Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you the Sylvania 400 watt probe start metal halide bulb. This particular bulb came from a restore in Tempe, Arizona and it was bought for $5, which was pretty cheap if you ask me. So anyways, I'm going to turn the bulb over and we'll take a good look at the etch. You can see the Sylvania name up there on the top. It's obviously 400 watts and what's cool is that the etch is actually on the big tip of this bulb. It's an R, that means that this bulb will continue to operate and it'll give off UV radiation which is not good at all. It's also called metal arc as well which is nice. There's the symbol warning of mercury on your right and there's the code of the bulb on the way bottom M400 slash U universal burn position and the ballast type the M59 slash S ballast. I'm not sure what the letter S means, but if anybody knows, let me know in the comments below. So anyways, let's take a good look at the construction of this bulb. There's the exhaust team down there. You can see this big U-shaped piece of steel is actually welded and connected to the bottom of the arc tube as well. And then there's another U-shaped piece of steel supporting the whole bulb itself. There's the arc tube itself. It has been used, as you can see. You can see that the arc tube is a little cloudy because those are all of the halide salts in there, like sodium ionide and all that. Just There's a tiny bit of sodium and metal halide bulbs to make it a pure white color from green when the mercury vaporizes. So, you can see the fuse right there. Very nice. We also have a very nice brass base along with a glass insulator as well. So, that's nice. And in case if you didn't know, this is a BT37 shaped bulb. What I mean by this is that it's a different shaped bulb, but it is still the same height and width of this bulb. Just like on an ED37. I'll show you an example of an ED37 shaped bulb. So right there is my CEW 360 watt HPS retrofit bulb. And that's an ED37 shaped bulb. And along with my Luma Super 400 watt pulse start metal halide shielded bulb. So anyways, I just made this brand new test fixture just three hours ago. And it works very nicely and the ballast is actually quite loud. And it's made by Philips Advance. You can see all the information about it. Focus in on there. 400 watt M59 metal halide lamp. There's the assembly of how to install a ballast. And there's the company name. So that's nice. So anyways, we are going to give this bulb a shot. And we'll see how it starts up. And in case you didn't know, this bulb produces 32,000 lumens, which is a pretty high output, but it's not as strong as a Philips 400 watt metal halide bulb. That one produces 39,000 lumens. So anyways, we're going to screw it in into our fixture here. So I'm going to wait for the camera to focus. Camera's now in focus. Set the camera right here on the ballast so you can get a good view of the arc tube and the bulb itself. And I'm going to have safety glasses on so I don't, you know, blind myself from the intense light because this bulb produces 32,000 lumens. So anyways, we're going to give this bulb a shot in three, two, one.
And that was one of the halide salts trying to ionize, but the arc in the arc tube was not hot enough, so it just flickered and made a little bit of orange right there. I also forgot to mention that this bulb has an average life of 15,000 hours, and the color temperature is 4,000 Kelvin, or cool white, with every metal halide bulb around the globe. It's flickering a little more. Those are all the halide salts trying to ionize into the arc stream. This bulb is very bright. Anyways, the fixture is at full brightness. It's insanely bright in this room right now. It's very bright in here. So, anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this nice Sylvania 400 watt probe start metal halide bulb. And as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you all so much for watching.